what's up collective how y'all feeling i hope you all are doing well i hope everybody enjoyed their day i hope you guys are having an even better night what's up y'all hope you all enjoying your weekend we are about to get into y'all um late night reading yeah late night tea Let's see what's in the energy for y'all i just want to light this real quick um yeah but what's up collective what's going on we're shaking y'all welcome back to those of you that's returning and welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time i'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me shout out to all the new subscribers thank you guys to those of you that actually subscribe i appreciate all your support thank you guys for the likes the comments the shares the donations thank you for supporting me and the channel it means a lot to me like I said, I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. I truly mean that. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support. All right, y'all. We about to get into your late night tea in a second. I just wanted to light a little bit of this. I'm hearing that song. Um, y'all know I always channel music. I'm hearing that song, Mambo, Mambo Number no. 5. Y'all remember that song? A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Mary all night long. A little bit of me is all I need. Y'all remember that song, right? I feel like everybody remember that song. Mambo Number no. 5. I'm hearing that song. <coughs> it's so funny because I used to tap dance when I was younger. And we would tap dance to that song. We would literally tap dance to that song. That was like one of our warm-up songs to tap dance to before we started our class. And yep, I used to tap dance to Mambo Number no. 5. That's the song I'm channeling right now for some reason. Mambo Number no. 5. Maybe somebody will play it. I don't know. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get into the message. Give y'all a little Palo Santo as well. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? What he do? What he do? What he do? What he do? I love you guys. I love you so much. I love you guys so much. I had the longest day. You know, and it wasn't really that long. It just felt long. You know, y'all know those days, right? When it's not that you're extremely busy, but it just seems like the day is really long and drawn out. That's the kind of day I had. But I'm feeling real relaxed now. All right, y'all, let's get into your message. Father God, Holy Spirit, what message do you have for my divine collective? What messages do you have for the collective tonight, please? And thank you. You guys know this is a general message, meaning that everything may not resonate. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there, okay? Don't force it if it's not your message. All right. Father God, Holy Spirit, allow me to see things clearly. What messages do you have for my divine collective tonight? What messages do you have for my divine collective? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Allow me to see things clearly. Cover me, show me, protect me as I show this energy, Father God. What messages do you have for my collective tonight? What's up, collective? Oh, my God. Y'all got this card the other night. We just had this card the other night, didn't we? The other day. Who was it? Maybe it was Libra's reading. I think it was Libra's reading, but pray. Stalked, invaded, watch, okay? So someone is praying on y'all, okay? Stalking y'all, invading your space, watching you. Somebody could be astral projecting, all right? I'm so sick of seeing that damn car. That same car came out the other day. I feel like it was like yesterday, two days ago. The same cards keep coming out, y'all, but you got free will collective. This came out the other day too, okay? Sovereignty, independence, free spirit. You're a free spirit. You have free will. You're independent. And someone is praying on you, stalking you, invading your space, and watching you, okay? Somebody here feels like they made a mistake, okay? Whoever did this or whoever was stalking you or praying on you, 
may feel like they made a mistake, okay? This person is a loner that was doing this, okay? An outsider, a misfit, a loner, a wanderer. This is the person that was preying on y'all. A misfit, a wanderer, an outsider. Somebody here may love to wear black. <clears throat> Somebody here may love to wear red. Something significant about black and red. Somebody here could also have red hair. <clears throat> Creator and enlightenment. All right. Catalyst, maker, mother, father, enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. So collective, I feel like you're creating something new. And somebody that's an outsider wanted to prey on you and watch you because somebody want to be like you. They want to imitate you. They want to know what you're creating. Okay, like somebody here wants to, someone sees you as an inspiration, but they're going about it the wrong way, okay? That's what's really fucking going on here. And now this person is asking for forgiveness. That came out the other day too, because they feeling like they got burnt by the sun. Look how that came out. Look how that came out, y'all. I picked up the deck to look at the bottom of it. Redemption came out, absolution, forgiveness, penance, and then burnt by the sun, uh slid slid on down so this person has gotten burnt by the sun all right they definitely got burnt by the sun that's what they get now this person is asking for some sort of forgiveness here okay this is somebody that's obsessed with y'all and inspired by y'all and want to see what you up to what you be doing and shit like that now this person is is asking for help call for help reach out need for backup admit your needs now this person need help Collective, this person got the nerd to need help now. They got the nerd to need help now. Because they was being trained to do this shit. Somebody was training this person on how to do this shit. How to invade your space and, and stalk you and prey on you. Now this person is calling for backup, calling for help. Admitting their needs. Asking for forgiveness, redemption. Because they got burned by the sun. Child. Collective. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Thought they were slick. Seven of Swords. We got the Seven of Swords here and the Sun in the reverse. Somebody here very unhappy about this shit. Somebody here could be a Leo or have strong Leo in their chart. Somebody here was doing the most. Emperor in the reverse. Somebody here is very unhappy. They was doing the most. They feel like they did something too quick, too impulsively, impulsively here with the Fool in the reverse. And this person know that they fucked up. Whoever this is, they know that they fucked up. Now they're calling for backup. They're calling for help. Because collective, you still happy. This person is unhappy, but you still at peace. You still happy with the sun card here in the upright. And this person could be very confused by that because you're not supposed to be in that energy. Somebody here is very bitter. This is somebody from y'all past. But like the six of cups in the reverse. This person could be holding a grudge against you. They're very mad. They're very bitter. You could be upset because you're receiving something. Okay, or you're receiving just justice, blessings, you know, you in good standing with spirit. So you receiving a lot during this time, you manifesting a lot. And now this person is in heavy regret. They're disappointed about what they did because this person would actually like to come towards you. That's what they should have did in the first place if you ask me. I don't know why they did all this shit. Oh, they saying they did all of this because you won't talk to them. Well, God damn it, then respect the curve. The fuck? This person saying they did all of this because you won't talk to them collective. Some of y'all could have this person blocked with the eight of wands in the reverse. But this person feel like their communication is not getting through to you. <coughs> and they feel like you happy. <coughs> I told you, excuse me, y'all. With the sun card and the ten of cups here in the upright, this person feel like you chilling. And that's causing them to be unsettled. That's causing them to feel restless and uncomfortable. This person is saying that they miss y'all. They're saying that they did it because they miss y'all. Lord have mercy. Collective, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? All right. Somebody here could have a Libra moon. You or them. Somebody here could have an Aquarius moon. Somebody here could be an Aquarius. Somebody here could just have strong Aquarius in their chart. Somebody here could have Gemini Libra in their chart. All right. Give me something on this two of swords. Give me something on this two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Holy Spirit, clarify this two of swords. Give me something on the two of swords. All right, the devil. 
Shit, not the devil. Some of y'all could be Capricorns. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Here go this Emperor in the reverse again. This person is worried because they feel binded to the devil. Queen of Swords in the reverse, upset. So there's an Emperor in the reverse and a Queen of Swords in the reverse that's worried, panicking, and fear because they feel like they got this rod in their back right now. The devil. They made a conscious decision to do this shit to y'all. And now they feel like they have awakened some sort of beast here that they can't get rid of. Somebody here feel like they can't get rid of some shit. Okay, these, these motherfuckers is angry. Again, with that fool in the reverse energy and the sun in the reverse. Y'all see how much, how many times I shuffled, same cards coming out. Somebody here feel like they did something too quickly. They did something without thinking. They were so quick to take some sort of action. This person could be a Leo or somebody here could have strong Leo in their chart. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But Queen of Swords reverse and the Emperor reverse. This was a masculine and a feminine for some of you that teamed up and did this shit together. And now they feel they feel like they did it too quick. They shouldn't have did this. Somebody here should feel like they shouldn't have did this shit because they, they didn't get what they wanted. Four of Wands in the reverse. No wish fulfillment here. Somebody here was trying to take something from y'all. Somebody here could have been trying to steal here. But they feel like their wish fulfillment is, is not happening, okay? And somebody here waiting on something. Three of Wands. A Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here could be a water sign. Somebody here could have strong water in their chart. Okay, but somebody here, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, is waiting on some sort of truth or waiting on some sort of commitment. But this person is under judgment. I feel like this person was waiting on something from you, collective. Okay, somebody here was trying to take something of yours and, and give it to a Queen of Cups here in the reverse for stability. So this Queen of Cups in the reverse could have this Queen of Cups in the reverse could have been promised some sort of stability all off of your energy. And that shit did not work out, okay? This person is now under heavy judgment. Somebody here was supposed to be gaining stability from you. Or they gained was an entity attachment. <clears throat> That's what the fuck they gained. They bonded to this shit. Now somebody want to travel, come towards y'all. Knight of Cups, Six of Swords. Somebody here could be at a distance for some of y'all. What's the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords? Temperance here. Somebody here could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Sag. Somebody here is saying be patient with them. They miss you. Somebody here could also be a Scorpio sun. Somebody here could have shown Scorpio in their chart. But I feel like collective, now somebody wants to come towards you. Yeah, Empress, there you are. Earth angel, Empress, and the temperance coming out together. Somebody here saying that they miss you, Empress, and they want to come towards you, Chariot. This person feel like they got played by a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and now they want to work together with you. Now they want to give you an offer because they didn't receive what they thought they was going to receive in dealing with this Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so there's a distorted feminine here that's very cold-hearted, very emotionally manipulative, money-hungry. This person tricked somebody here, and now this person that feels tricked by this Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, now wants to come towards you, Empress, because somebody here couldn't gain stability off of your energy. Somebody here sees you as the true manifester, as the magician here. Somebody here is looking at you, Empress, like a manifester, a master manifester here. And they want to have some sort of new beginning with you. But this high priestess in the reverse is working against this person having a new beginning with you. Collective, you showing up in this nine of pentacles, nine of cups energy. Again, with that independence, that free will, your sovereignty here. Okay? You are independent. You are free. You are living life on your terms here. Nine of cups, emotionally stable, emotionally fulfilled on all levels. Nine of pentacles here, independent, doing the damn thing. I'm not begging, borrow, stealing. You're taking care of yourself. You're on the up and up. And you're doing things the right way. There's a king of wands here that is wanting to take action. But this person is in this hangman energy. Okay. Give me a sign on this king of wands here. This person could be saying that they're trying to change their ways before they come towards you. This person is saying that they was playing games or that they was very in and out and flighty with this Knight of Wands energy. This person could have also been starting conflict or something like that for some of you. But now this person is saying that they want to come back around Five of Pentacles in the reverse. They feel left out in the cold. They feel like things are really over between you and them with the Tower card here. They feel like they're not going to get another chance with you. This person sees you in the spotlight. For some of you, you could be very popular. You could be getting some sort of public praise or recognition. Some of you may even be content creators. And then for others of you, you just look at you look like somebody that's reaching um, a, a certain level of success right now. You look like someone 
<clears throat> that's getting some sort of recognition and reward during this time. Okay. Whoever this King of Wands is, they see that they, they're watching you. They see this about you. They see you in the Six of Wands Empress um, energy here. And this person wants to come towards you. But with the Tower card here, they're afraid that this is um, wishful thinking. Like they shouldn't even come towards you. It's like this person is nervous to make a move because they feel like, you know, things are completely over between you and them. <sighs> yeah, this person feels like that's their karma to get rejected by you. That's how they feel with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This person say it serves them right. So they feel guilty about some shit here, about the way things happened between you two in the past or whatever conflict they was trying to start for you, okay? And they feel like they're a burden, they're a complicated person. This person is actually beating themselves up behind the scenes. And if you don't want to deal with them, they completely understand is what they're saying. They feel like that's their karma to get rejected by you. All right, but this person is trying to go through some sort of transformation here. All right, they're trying to go through some sort of transformation or they are going through a transformation at this current moment in time in order to come towards you with some sort of quick, fast communication. This person wants to talk to you and they want to talk to you now, but they know that there's some, some changes that need to happen before they can do that. This person feels like you see them clearly, okay? This person feels like you don't want to be bothered, like you're in this hermit energy, some of you could be Virgos. You could have Virgo placements, but this person just feels like you could be in solitude or you're um, just staying to yourself or you just don't want to talk to them. <clears throat> yeah, they feel like you're healing. This person is also healing during this time. They're in solitude, trying to go through this transformation, trying to heal. They could have feel they they feel betrayed again. They feel betrayed by this Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. They could also feel like somebody never really truly loved them. They only used them for money. Because the Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that's not in love. This is someone that is there for material gain. Um, this is somebody that's an opportunist. This is somebody that's only with someone for, you know, what they can provide, what they can do for them. And whoever this King of Wands is, they feel betrayed by this person. So now they in solitude and this hermit energy trying to heal from this betrayal, but also trying to transform and change things about themselves or that they feel like they need to change in order to come towards you with some communication. This person is now realizing that they have feelings for you. This person is realizing how deep their feelings are for you. I, I just heard an ego death. So this person could be going through some sort of ego death right now. But this person may feel like, you know, the feelings may not be mutual. They really looking at you like you ain't on board. This person is like, it's a two to tango and the collective is not on board. The collective is not feeling me right now. Whoever this person is, they feel like y'all not feeling them right now, collective. But this person is building the strength and courage to still uh, shoot their shot, try to come towards you. They've been juggling in their mind, you know, if they should say something, how they going to say it. Because they really want to make some sort of offer here with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. This person is ready to say something. They ready to do something. They, go, they ready to bust a move, y'all. I can't make it up. They ready to bust a move. They ready to say something. They want to heal a connection with you. Somebody here definitely could be an Aquarius, like I had said earlier. Or you could be an Aquarius collective. One of y'all could have Aquarius in your chart, both of you. But somebody here ready to heal something. Okay, they ready to heal something with you, collective. Okay, they're saying give them a chance. Yeah, this person is ready to communicate. Eight of Wands to the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles to the Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles to the Star. Yeah, this person is trying to come towards you to heal something here. Okay, <clears throat> they feel like they made poor investments. This person could be like high in, you know, the Tao moment that they're going through, the karma that they're receiving right now. This person is like secretly like going through some things right now, trying to hide it and stay to themselves and heal. But somebody here got strong Pisces in their chart as well. But with the moon card and the five of cups, this person is in heavy regret. They're disappointed. And they just feel like the cycle has completely closed out with you because they feel like they definitely did something that was unfair and unjust to you. And they feel like you separated from them. And they could have also tried to put you in a third party, which is another thing that they have in the back of their mind too. So this person just feels like they have um, just a bad, like they, you and them just bad. Like you looking at them like they bad news, okay? Like the, this person feel like, Y'all are looking at them like they are bad fucking news. Like, this person is like, collective don't want me, <laughs> okay? Collective don't want me. All this dumb shit I've been doing behind the scenes. Fucked around and got bamboozled and tricked 
you know, out of my spot. Like, that's how they feel. They feel like they got tricked out of their spot by this Queen of Cups in the reverse, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Swords reverse. Even if they got tricked out of their spot with a karmic woman, whoever they feel like that, whoever they feel that way towards, they have a lot of conflict between them two with this five of wands here. And there's conflict about this person wanting to make you an offer. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. There's conflict surrounding this person in regards to them wanting to possibly make you an offer here. We have the Ace of Cups in this deck and we have the Ace of Cups in this deck, both in the upright. This person is showing up as the Emperor though, y'all. Okay, so whoever this person is, they are doing the work with that death card. They are going through that ego death. They are going through that dark night of the soul. They are going through that transformation. They are healing. All right, Ace of Cups here twice. This person wants to make you an offer. There's conflict surrounding this. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, Queen of Swords in the reverse is, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is, this person has multiple feminine energies that's really um, upset with them right now because this person wants to make you an offer. Somebody here could have been trying to keep this person in the emperor in the reverse energy, but this person is now transforming into an actual emperor. And this person is ready for some sort of commitment here with the four of wands, okay? And somebody here wanted to keep this emperor in third party situations, okay? This person may have been living like a poly lifestyle or, you know, maybe in open relationships. Yeah, somebody here wants to keep this person in third parties. Three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, twice. Three of pentacles in the reverse. There's a queen of swords in the reverse that wants this person to stay low vibrational and stay and third parties here or stay in some sort of polygamous lifestyle for some of you. And, and it's just not going like that. For some of y'all, this person was in a polygamous lifestyle or swingers or whatever you want to call it, okay? I know it's no disrespect to anybody that um lived those lifestyles to each his own. I'm not judging. But this person could have been in some sort of lifestyle like that, um, whether they was open or polygamous or, you know... Um, you know, just free, you know, free spirit. I don't know what you want to call it or swingers, you know, it's different terms and different meanings, right? But this person could have been in something that was non-conventional, non-traditional, and they don't want that lifestyle anymore, okay? For whatever reason, they're saying that they don't want that lifestyle anymore. They're trying to make some changes here to the type of lifestyle that they're trying to make some positive changes here moving forward when it comes to you know the lifestyle that they was uh, accustomed to that they was living in the past yeah this person is ready for like more stability here they could be ready for a higher form of commitment this person may even have marriage on the mind on their mind okay and these women here are upset with this masculine because this person wants to change this person wants to evolve they want to live a different lifestyle now and now everybody mad this queen of swords in the reverse is mad queen of cups in the reverse mad queen of pentacles in the reverse mad everybody mad at this person now and they know that and i feel like this is why they're trying to isolate themselves they just trying to stay away from the conflict they don't want to deal with none of this shit i told you five of swords in the reverse i can't make it up they don't want to be invested in none of this bullshit no more. They don't want none of the drama. They don't want the conflict. They don't want the headache. None of that. They're like, nah. Okay? Yeah. They they walking away. Five of Pentacles. They leaving the drama behind. They leaving codependent energies behind. This person could feel like somebody here is extremely codependent on them and trying to keep them stuck here with the chariot in the reverse, nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody could be a cancer or have strong cancer in their chart. This person ready to go. Five of Pentacles. They ready to fucking go. But I feel like there's some sort of tug of war here. There's some back and forth. You know, one minute, maybe this person leaving. The next minute, they're coming back. Well, that's how it always was. But now they're ready to leave for good. There's some back and forth shit here. There's extreme codependency in this situation. Yeah, and with the justice in the reverse here, again, this person just feel like they did your wrong, collective. Justice in the reverse. Somebody here may be a Libra. have Libra in their chart for justice here. But the justice came out in the reverse twice in both of these decks. This person feel like they did something that was unfair, unlawful, unjust to you, and they miss you. This person is missing y'all, Six of Cups. They um definitely feel like they breaking somebody's heart here. Queen of Wands in the reverse, the lovers reverse. Somebody here could be a Cancer, a Fire Sign, or a Gemini, but this person feel like they leaving people brokenhearted, but they also feel like they could have left you brokenhearted as well, collective. This person is reminiscing and missing you here with the Six of Cups and feeling really bad about hurting you this person feels bad they do they genuinely feel bad you know i will let y'all know if somebody full of shit i have no problem doing that but this person that i'm picking up on for y'all specifically tonight this person feels bad they feel bad 
Okay, they feel bad. Yeah, they feel bad. Somebody here is trying to cause a delay when it comes to communication between you and this person. Somebody here actually wants this person to avoid you, to walk away from you. Okay, and I feel like this person definitely did that at one point, but now they don't want to do that anymore. But somebody here is trying to keep this person in that energy, staying far away from you and just walking away from you and not dealing with you. But this person feel like you've walked away from them for good now. They feel like the tables have turned and this person is up in their head now. They may feel like you're going to live your best life with somebody else. That's their worst fear. This person is hoping that you don't open up your heart to new love. This person is, that's their worst fear. That's their worst fear. You have a new love or being open to new love or being with somebody else. They really hope that that's not the case. Like, they really hoping that's not the case. This person is just waiting to see what they should do here. They're very unhappy here. They feel, they just feel like all is lost. All bets are off. Everything is lost here when it comes to being with you, dealing with you, collecting. Yeah. They say, but they still want to try. Ace of Cups. They still want to try. They go that Ten of Wands and they reverse again. Some of y'all may feel like this situation was too toxic for y'all or too much going on. You ain't want to be a part of it. But with the Ace of Cups here, this person is trying. Okay, that Ace of Cups came back out. Yeah, this person has made up their mind. This is someone that's very intelligent. Again, with that King of Swords energy, the King of Swords then came out twice too. This person could definitely be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or they could have strong air in their chart. Somebody here could have an air moon. Somebody here could have a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius moon. All right. Again, that two of cups is in a reverse. This person just feel like <coughs> the feelings are not mutual collective because they feel like you blocked them or you're not talking to them. This person is very unhappy where they at. They're viewing you as the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Meanwhile, they feel like a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is codependent on them. They feel like you independent, you damn sure ain't codependent. They just feel like you're the complete opposite of somebody that they're trying to get away from. And they just, this person is fucked up over y'all. Whoever this is, they fucked up over y'all. Yeah, they don't really have, um, they, for some reason, this person don't really have the courage or the strength to say anything to you right now. But they really want to, okay? They trying to build that strength and courage to talk to you because they feel like you two have unfinished business with the world in the reverse here. This person is frustrated and pissed off. Um, there could be a high priestess in the reverse that's a Capricorn or a Sagittarius or somebody with that in their chart that's upset. There was a high priestess in the reverse working on this person. And they're mad because they know for a fact that this person is still going to have some sort of wish fulfillment here. For many of you, there's a high priestess in the reverse that feel like this person will have some sort of... Um, wish fulfillment with you i feel like everybody feel that way except for this person but they want to keep this person stuck in their head and and keep them far away from you so it's like everybody playing mind games with this person at this point that's what this shit look like okay there's like a practitioner here that definitely knows that this person um will receive what they want okay if they take some sort of action here but they're hoping that this person stays stuck in their head and just in fear of coming towards you so that it don't actually happen. That's what somebody's hoping. But they know for a fact that this person will be able to have a reconciliation with you. Because it's like, this is a divine union. For many of you, this is a divine union. And this person keeps saying that they love y'all. King of Cups, look at this shit. This person feels so bad, okay? King of Cups in the upright. Some of y'all could be dealing with the water signs. Some of you got a strong water in their chart. But either way, it's just the emotions behind it. That's that cups energy. That's the emotions. That's the feelings here. King of Cups here in the upright twice. This person, they gonna say something. Fuck it. They just gonna do it. Knight of Swords. They gonna do it. They stand in their ground. Collective, I feel like you stand in your ground too. Some of you both could have strong air placements. Y'all both showing up as the king and queen of swords here. It's like y'all um y'all are similar. This could be a twin flame for some of you. All right. For some of y'all, this could actually be your twin. Yeah, people are mad and watching this because they feel like you single and they also feel like this person single. So it's like, it's a, it's an opportunity here for you two to be together. Somebody here feels like this person is definitely going to invest in you. Yeah, people watching. I can't make it up. Page of Swords, people watching. People watching. Somebody here is hoping that you keeping your options open and you don't want this person. And somebody here hoping that this person would just be so much in fear in their head that they miss their opportunity they miss their chance to come towards you but with the judgment here in the upright there's some sort of judgment being called in this situation it is looks like a divine union for real so y'all let me know how this work out for y'all all right
Let me know if y'all resonated with this or not. I hope that this has reached the right ears. Um, I'm sending you guys much love, okay? A lot of love here. A lot of positive, uplifting energy. Um, I hope that you guys can figure out this situation. And yeah, I hope that this has given you some sort of confirmation, clarity, or guidance. I'm going to talk to you guys soon. Peace.